In a new memo to his staff released today, Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg sought to clear the air about his day one memo sent to staff in his office that he admits was confusing. The new memo issues harsher new guidance on charging all commercial robberies with a gun, knife, or any weapon that creates a risk of physical harm as a felony instead of a misdemeanor. It promises a tougher policy on gun possession and gun cases. Bragg's new memo also issuing tougher language on those who harm or attempt to harm police officers, calling his a zero-tolerance policy. The earlier memo within days of him taking office caused alarm in some circles, especially police officers concerned about perceived soft guidance on resisting arrests and business owners concerned about his intention to charge many robberies as misdemeanors. Those intentions drew the ire of the police commissioner, resulting in a sit-down with Bragg that Commissioner Kachant Sewell called productive. It also prompted meetings with the mayor, the governor, and the city's other DA. I would say good morning to you all. But in fact, it's the worst morning ever. But it may have been late Detective Jason Rivera's widow last week, whose voice carried the loudest during the eulogy for her husband. He and his partner shot and killed by a gunman in Harlem in a year where six police officers have been shot already, two of them killed. We are not safe anymore. Not even the members of the service. I know you were tired of these laws especially the ones from the new DA. I hope he's watching you speak through me right now. Bragg's new guidance also comes a day after that major meeting on battling violent crime and the flow of guns into the state with the president, Mayor Adams, and Governor Hochul. Mayor Adams today was pleased with Bragg's new guidance to his prosecutors. I believe he did an analysis and he came to a place that he understand uh, we must operate as a partner in dealing with uh, gun violence. Bragg's counterpart, Queens DA Melinda Katz, says she thinks Bragg is on the right track. I believe that DA Bragg's um, efforts will, will shake out. I think that he has the best interests of his borough at heart. He's had many, many discussions on how he wants to move forward, uh, just, you know, in addition to that memo. I look forward to seeing what he does in his borough. Now, we did reach out to District Attorney Bragg's office uh, this evening, but he was unavailable for comment.